Well, Uber will be a stock to watch today. This company obviously has been dealing with all sorts of challenges to its core business, the ride hailing business that it is best known for because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And look, we, we still don't quite know what the post-COVID world looks like, and, and Uber has been growing around the world. So that part of the mis business, to a certain extent, is still up in the air. But the company's food delivery business, Uber Eats, has provided more than a safety net. Delivery revenue top $1.7 billion U.S. in the latest quarter, triple what it was last year. And beyond delivering people food. Uber is increasingly delivering people all sorts of stuff, booze, groceries, packages, convenience store items in certain markets. And here's the reality on the first quarter revenue trends over these last few years. Uh, these are adjusted net revenue, uh, just astounding growth. For the full year, analysts are expecting the company's uh, delivery related revenue to top six billion dollars. Now a lot of uh, analysts on Wall Street have been betting on Uber as a recovery play, not not necessarily the Eats business which has been helping out for now, but if we get back to normal, uh, I mean forget traditional travel companies, how about people just getting back in an Uber? I was looking at what the analysts on Wall Street feel about the one-year prospects for stocks. Um, and while on average right now analysts who cover Uber on Wall Street see the stock climbing over the next year, in fact more than 40 percent when you look at the average 12-month target price versus where the stock is right now, there is a Canadian name uh, tied to delivering you food uh, that is uh, even a higher expected uh, uh, stock return over the next 12 months. We're talking about good food. Now I know it's a different business. We're talking about meal prep. Uh, but uh, for the analysts who cover the company, and mind you, it's a smaller pool of analysts who cover good food versus, say, an Uber or a Lyft. Uh, but on average, those analysts, according to Bloomberg data, expect good food shares could rise as much as 60% over the next 12 months. Uber still expected to grow. Lyft, which also had their quarterly results this week, also expected to see uh, a growth.